with painkiller not the Judas Priest painkiller this is B standard if you had a seven string guitar and you just did your standard tuning this would be it so the only guitar at this point down the road it'll be Dean but this is the only one that uh, I can do quick access on the tuning now he's using like a, a octave whammy with an octave effect in there I can hear it you'll have like a deep and then a high going on with it so if something sounds a little different. Got a little of it going here on the Rocktron. So um, let's jump in, what do you say? Okay, we're gonna go. Oops. Let's learn that first. 7A. Oh, this goes out to English Joe, by the way. Subscriber slash student of mine. 7A, 9A, I would take the index, this is how they're doing it. And then pick the 9 again and hammer on to 10. And then pick the 9 afterwards. And then go 7, 9A, that's the first half of this part. Or first quarter, I should say. And then go 7, 9, 10, 12. So if you played all that. Second half starts the same way, up to there, up to the rest, and then go 7, 9, 12. So you're just taking one note out, okay? Here's all of that. Then open E to 2E with the rest. Four, then you're back to the second half one that we just did. The part that was minus one note, which so happens to be the tenth fret on the A. Let me play that again from here. Three, four. Then back to the open two on the E. And then we got um, some power chords. 10, 12, E, A. Over to 7, 9, E, A. Go up, down, down. So, two. Then you're back to this. Just repeats. Okay, and then you're back to these power chords again. But check out what happens now. Two, three. Back to ten, twelve. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. It's a quick rest after that. So you go from the ten, twelve EA to the open E, second fret A, just power chords. So. Okay, last part, 2-4 EA, these are all power chords, two strums, and a rest. From there, go to 7-9 EA, 5-7 EA, 3-5 EA, and I think there's a secondary, like an octave second guitar being played over that. So here's how I would look at it as far as memorizing it. We got the 2-4, but everything else is going to be landing on your dots. Okay, dots three, four, two, three, and one, two. There's different ways to help memorize, and that's what those dots are for. They're sight markers. Again. And then two hits, but different beat. Instead of going, go. 
Last part is this. And now that's just straightforward. Two E, four A, four times each chord. Five seven A D, four times. Just move it up to five seven E A, four times. Open E to A four times. So that's. And then back to the two count rhythm. Except one time here. Alright, so uh, there you go. Three Days Grace. Been needing to get some more Three Days Grace on the channel. Heavy band, good band too. Um, Take your time with it, you know, it's it's not um, a super technical song. Make sure your beats are right and obviously your notes are clear within your power chords and the hardest part would be the single note uh, melody run on the beginning. Keep in mind it's a two guitar player thing and it also has the octave running over the primary guitar, all right? Email me, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com if you're interested in taking some private guitar lessons with me on Skype or uh, I teach bass and my wife teaches vocals. It's almost enough for a band right there. Teach all styles. Uh, usually most of my students and hers like to learn songs and fine tune them, not just, because you could be like, well, I can just find those on YouTube. Yes, you can. And you're gonna find 236 versions of it. And uh, maybe if you're lucky, one will be right. So I try to get these, the way these bands are playing them. And um, just lots of stuff to work on that, that are involved in that. The techniques that are used in guitar playing are found in songs, so. Um, also, if that's a, the basically 30 and 60 minute lessons per week, same day, same time, or bi-weekly. If you're not able to do that, and you still want to take lessons with me, check out my CT and CVT lessons. They're just uh, handwritten. CT is the handwritten tabs. Everything's timestamped, subgrouped. Um, they're very thorough. You put the pick directions, every technique used in the song, the fingerings, the pick patterns. Um, every technique that's used is actually written on the top page. Um, like whether it's a hammer on vibrato whammy bar all that good stuff um, they do the primary effects that are used in the song and even a basic EQ for you so there you go check out those add me on Facebook Instagram Twitter and I did add one Pinterest but I don't know how to send you there I'll have to look that up my wife Jolene said I have to I have to do Pinterest so she, she kind of she's the boss over here no she's not but anyways you can find me. Share those too if you don't mind and these videos. Word of mouth. I didn't get to 108,000 of you guys um, overnight and it's because of things like this. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, last but not least and actually very important, subscribe to this channel. Just click in really quick. Subscribe. Hit the notifications icon. If you're a subscriber, bring your requests. Keep them coming. Appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, I'm Mike Gross. Doing some three days grace for you. And uh, we'll see you later. Did I explain that part earlier? I hope so. I might have skipped it. And then back to this. Or